Okay, hello and welcome. My name is Florian Kolsch from the National Program in Survey and Data Science here at the University of Mannheim. And I'm here today with Daniel Obersky. Um, Daniel is an assistant professor at the Department of Methodology and Statistics at the Tilburg University. So Daniel, thank you for joining us today. My pleasure. And why don't we start with uh, introducing yourself a little bit about telling us what your research interest is and those type of things. Um, well, I would say my research interest is trying to make surveys as scientifically sound as possible in general. And that can incorporate a lot of different things. One of those things is how good the questions are that we use in surveys. And I also develop methods that allow researchers to evaluate how good questions actually are and how good a, a survey really is. So, Great. Great. So this is yeah. something we'll come back to again later. Um, let's start a little bit uh, talking about a big survey project that you have been involved for a number of years, mm -hmm. um, the European Social Survey, ESS. Right. Um, and let's start a little bit by talking what the ESS is, how the methodology works there, and, and why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, the, the ESS is um, an academically driven, so it was started by universities, uh, an international survey. Uh, it's conducted every two years in lots of European countries and the goal of the survey is to uh, tap into attitudes, opinions and also some facts about people that might be useful for social descriptions, sociology, but also policy information and, and things like that and to track those opinions and attitudes over time. Okay. and. Um, what was your role? So you were with DSS for five years. What was your role as part of that project and how does that link to, to your research? Yeah, so, so my role in the European Social Survey was um, I worked in the group that was in charge of evaluating the quality of the questionnaire. So how good are the questions that we ask people for the purposes that we want to use them for? So if we ask people about their TV watching or their opinion about immigration or whether they voted and so on. Are those questions good enough for the purposes that we want to use the European Social Survey for or rather that anybody, including the uh, people watching this video, might want to use the European Social Survey for? And what we did was um, incorporate a type of experiment into every questionnaire of the European Social Survey in every country something called a multi-trait, multi-method experiment. And the purpose of that was to be able to estimate exactly how good all of those questions were for the purposes that we wanted to use them for. And ultimately also to um, uh, form part of a broader project that's the survey quality predictor. So great, so the, the survey quality predictor, SQP, was developed out of that, that project in, in ESS. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about SQP, how it works and, and what, it, what it actually is. Right. Um, well, maybe I should take one step back sure. uh, just before talking about a survey quality predictor and what we did in the European Social Survey. The general purpose mm -hmm. and the idea behind this is that um, you can ask a question in lots of different ways. For example, I could ask you, how much do you agree that we should let in more immigrants into the country? Or I could just ask you, how many more immigrants should we let into the country? And, or I could ask you I could pr a question which allows for a don't know option, or which doesn't, which has lots of categories or have fewer categories, and so on and so forth. There are many ways that you can answer a question, and some are better than others. That's the basic idea behind SQP. So there's already a lot of books and a lot of advice out there about how you should ask a question, what's, what to do, what to avoid, and so on. But a lot of that advice is actually not based on empirical research, not based on experiments. And sometimes it's even contrary to the empirical mm -hmm. evidence. Um, so the purpose of SQP is to perform lots of experiments, get a hold on which questions are better and which questions are worse, and link that to the way in which they were asked. That's the basic setup of the project. Great. So, and then you develop the SQP as, a, as, a, as an actual product that people can use now. Yeah. And, and um, how does that work? So how, how can I um, envision that? 
Well, um, maybe I should also add that um, I came into SQP uh, when I started work on the European Social Survey, which was, for me, in 2006. The ESS has been going on since uh, 2002 already. Um, and before that, SQP, the project behind SQP was already going on since 1984. So it had already been started by uh, Frank Andrews from the University of Michigan and Willem Saris, uh, who was first in Amsterdam and then at the uh, Pompeo Fabra University in Barcelona. And um, it had been going on for all of that time. And all over all of that period, we, you know, they collected all of this data. And what I basically did was I joined in the team that analyzed the old data, but also the new data coming in from the European Social Survey, which was a huge torrent of new information from all these countries and all these languages, and uh, analyze that data, uh, join in with the uh, effort to code how the questions were actually asked. And then what I particularly did was to try to use some basic machine learning methods to try to predict how good each question was based on how the question was asked. So then it's all based on experiments. And that ties into your question about how SQP actually works mm -hmm. because uh, SQP works for the user. It works in exactly the same way that it worked for me when I was coding those questions. You go to the, to the website, which is uh, sqp.upf.edu. It's free for anybody. And you go through all of the choices allowing you to code, uh, input your question, so uh, allowing you to code the characteristics of that question, basically asking you some questions about your question. And those uh, characteristics of the question are then passed through the predictor that uh, we created in our project previously, and it outputs a prediction of how good the question is going to be, and it's, it's a number between 0 and 1 with some uncertainty about it as well. Right. So that means basically everybody can go to that web page and use that's right. facility that, that data that, that's available. Yeah, yep. Right? Yep. You just go to the website, go to your question, you get your prediction. That's great. And then yep. you put in the information from your question and you get feedback on yep. a, a prediction on how good your data is. Well, that's right. That, that, that's really great. Uh, well, um, thank you, Daniel, for joining us today and sharing all that information on, on the ESS and the SQP. And I invite you to try it out yourself and and, and um, use the SQP to figure out how good your um, survey question is. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thank you.